Hello everybody, uh, I'm just going to do a video tutorial on um, just some basic eventing because uh, I've been doing a lot of, obviously I've done a little bit of basic stuff so far so um, I think it's best just to carry on starting with the basic stuff and then uh, we might move on to a little bit more of the advanced stuff or at least the advanced stuff that I can actually do <laughs> so but we'll have to see um, <clears throat> so to start off with in terms of eventing um, a great little tool that has been I think it was it was on in VX as well and it's obviously still carried on over to the ace version is that we have the quick event creations uh, now these are obviously very useful you can see the shortcuts there if you wanted to do it like that um, and as I said it's a quick event nice and easy you just want some, uh, want to put some chests around when exploring dungeons or in towns or in houses or whatever, then it's just simple as that to do treasure chests. Uh, no problem with that whatsoever. Um, the other quick events we have are transfers, doors, and inns. Uh, so if we have an inn, that means obviously you need a, an innkeeper. And you can pick from your um, <clears throat> your graphics of players. I mean, you can have all sorts of things to do it, really. Um, you can also pick really obscure things to act as ins, which might come in handy at some other point. I was going to do a monstrous one, just to uh, show. Uh, so we'll have the big baddie as a monster, and he's going to want... 100,000 gil for for your in. Okay, so obviously now the best thing to do is to go ahead and make sure those work, which I'm fairly confident that they will. Uh, so as you can see, we've got the innkeeper here. Ooh. Oh, that's right, I did random battles, didn't I? <laughs> Silly of me. Uh, oh, and he's changed into a uh, another monster. Uh, yes, <clears throat> that is not an uncommon problem. I've had that a few times actually. Okay, so the gill, the chest works, but the uh, graphic for the innkeeper doesn't, and it's because it's because that because uh, when you pick. A normal sprite, obviously there's lots more they have lots more directions to face in, obviously. Um but when you just choose one of these, if you're clicking on it from the bottom, then it has it activates these ones as well, the ones the other ones around it. Um which means that they're not very much use for that, which I forgot. So I've just confused you all. <laughs> Um, but basically, I don't really think you're going to want a big monster as, a, as an innkeeper anyway, so uh, that shouldn't be uh, too much of a problem. So we'll just pick the nice in lady there. Um, <clears throat> and as you can see, this is the event page, so it is already done for you. And it does let you change all sorts of different things, obviously, about it. You can change the amount of gold there, um, <clears throat> and you can change what happens. Obviously, if it's an inn, you're going to want to recover all anyway, so that's not really the issue. Um, but that's the good thing about the quick events. Uh, there's something you can put down now and then obviously uh, take away uh, at a later, uh, or take away, sorry, add to at a later time. So you've just made changes there and there's an innkeeper there. But we don't want her in this map so she can go. Uh, the other two big ones are obviously the door and the transfers. Uh, so we'll show you a transfer. We have to We'll load another another map. Um, uh, Temple City. Oh no, that doesn't really work. Um, cave entrance. Yeah, no. I don't know. I don't know what else to have. Uh, it doesn't. It? See, the thing is, it doesn't really matter. And I'm getting all hung up on details. So um, we'll do. We'll do the. Um, <coughs> oh, I've lost it now. There you go, cave entrance. So this is another sample map, obviously. It's a very nice looking map as well, I have to say. Lots of um, 
potential for various um, treasure chests and extra baddies and events and stuff. So it's quite good. It's quite a nice map. Uh, so in order to do your transfer, you need to be in the event mode style for which I've left out. Um, you've got event, map, and region. They all are different different things. Obviously, map is to make edits to the map. Event is to do your events, and region is well. We will come to that later. <coughs> it's a little bit more uh, complicated. So just do a transfer. We'll have transfer here. So you have your destination, which is going to be your cave entrance, and you're going to want to do it. Normally, the best way to do it is one above where you want them to come out. Um, purely because if the coach, if the player wants to go straight back down. They can just go straight back into the previous map. Um, whereas if they started here, they'd have to go up and then back down to get up. But it's just, it really does depend on your preference. Um, direction, retain. Well, as soon as the map goes back up, you're going to want to change direction up. But once again, that's totally up to you. So there would be your transfer from one to the other. And then you would have to also do the same on this side. If you want the characters to be able to go back, obviously. Um, so you go quick event again, transfer, you select the destination as the point above. And the great thing about it is you can see where there already are events. So you know that there's an event there which is obviously your transfer. So nice and easy there. Uh, return direction, once again you're probably going to want up. So now the two maps are linked together. And just as an added demonstration I'm going to show, hopefully assuming this, this works, uh, would do the door as well. Normally used for other things, but oh well, never mind. Um, yeah, that will do. Uh, we'll just make that. Hmm, I don't know where to make that and go back. Well, we'll put it back. Put it back to the start up here. So we will do a whole, a whole circle round. Um, <clears throat> so now you're just going to want to check, obviously, that that works, which it will do. Uh, I'm just going to start my character down there just for speed reasons and because I don't want to face any random battles so you'll go down, the transfer will bring you out into the new map nice and simple obviously, oh I didn't go back Wait, what? should have gone back and then back in uh. <coughs> so we'll see you back in the skirmish map and then back out of the cave map which I haven't named uh, which we'll do at another point and just traverse the terrain here and then this is where we get to obviously the cave entrance which we've put a nice uh, gate in the way or a door uh, and I think you just walk in and there you go it sets you off to your new location which would be obviously be the cave itself uh, so as you can see that's all working nicely and that pretty much goes through all the quick events um, <clears throat> my next one will probably, unless I get a request obviously uh, the next one will probably be on just the event page and talking through it as best as I can because as I say it's uh, can't, it's not always the easiest thing uh, to do but the quick events will help you a lot along the way and they're always worth doing especially if if it's something you're going to come back and beef out later, um, for example, like your tr your treasure your treasure chests, if you want to put other things in there later, then obviously you can come back and do that anyway. And <clears throat> you obviously, well, I find personally that I often do a lot of stuff with the transfer event, so I normally end up making my own. Uh, but as I say, that's totally up to you, and it's something you'll discover that you want to do. Uh, when you start obviously making it yourself, and uh, that really is a great thing about it. As soon as you know, as soon as you've got the tools to know what you go, what you're doing, uh, you can literally do what you want to do, which is obviously why you'd be attracted to the game in the first place. Um, but there you go. I've just gone through the uh, quick events, the transfer the door and the treasure chest in the inn, and uh, yeah, that about covers it really. So they all do work, uh, assuming that you pick the right graphics for it. <laughs> And uh, so I'll see you next time and hope you've enjoyed it. Goodbye, guys.